So we have a new Android 13 QPR release for Pixel devices. QPR stands for Quarterly Platform Release. This is basically a beta for Pixel devices. Android 13 QPR 2 is installed on my device. And while there are some other changes we're not going to talk about in this video, there is one change I do want to talk about in this video, and it is a fairly radical change to the taskbar. Now, if you don't know, Google is building a taskbar similar to what we have already in Android 12L and later devices like Z Folds have this taskbar at the bottom. They are building their own sort of version of this. I guess you could also really say that Samsung made their own version of Google's taskbar, but Google's taskbar continues to fork and differentiate itself from what we have on Samsung devices and other devices that already have Android 12L and later and have enabled that feature in this QPR Two, we have a new, pretty radical, like I said, change to this taskbar. Let's switch to the overhead camera and we'll take a look here. This is my Pixel 7 Pro. And if you go into developer options, you can actually tweak a setting, which I will show you here really quickly. You're looking for smallest width and you need to change that to 600, I think 411 or four, something like that's the, the default. I'll show you how to, how to put it back whenever we're done. But this is what it looks like when you said everything shrinks way down and it basically tricks the device into thinking that it is indeed a tablet. Let's open up the Google Play Store and you'll notice that the little taskbar is not there. Well, what you're gonna have to do now, this is the default behavior, is see this little line down here, make a very short, slow swipe up and there is your taskbar and from there you can grab that let's open that back up again see and this is going to be a problem because i'm swiping gestures and doing things i don't think i like this at least as it is currently implemented but let's try this again and let's grab the play store and you can drag it into place to split screen so that's their idea is that it's going to take up less space to be hidden away let's rotate this thing because i think that it might look a bit more like it would on a tablet when rotated like this so let's again try a little small swipe up and there we go and it's already gone away it times out after a second you're gonna have to be kind of deliberate about this which is kind of a problem for me because you have to be you know kind of quick about it but if you swipe up too far you just go home. Of course, it is there in your recent apps switcher, but like I'm saying, you have to kind of, you know, be, be quick about it and then get your thing done as quickly as you can without swiping up too far or too dramatically. Because if you do, you're just going to wind up going home. And I think that that's honestly a big problem. I think that we are stacking too many actions onto upward swipes from the bottom. A swipe up goes home. A swipe up brings up your drawer. A swipe to the side ever so slightly switches apps. I think we just have too many things on that bottom portion of the screen for that to be a very useful gesture. Now this was, I believe, sort of hinted at in QPR1. I think there was some code in there that kind of indicated maybe a swipe up to show that taskbar and that little pill-shaped uh, design now, but it wasn't actually active until now, until QPR2. So hopefully as this is a beta, Google will be taking feedback from people like us, like myself, like you guys, if you want to drop comments and so forth, go on Twitter, talk about this stuff, journalists and so forth. Hopefully they'll take feedback on this stuff and realize this is probably not the best way to go. If you wanna hide the bar up and down, just do what Samsung is doing and have a long press or something like that. But a swipe up to me does just simply does not make any sense. Like I said, it's too many actions in the same direction, the same sorts of actions and gestures on the same spot is a recipe for accidental gestures happening. Now, I did mention that if you wanted to try this, there's a pretty easy way to revert back out. Now, obviously, you could just remember that it was 4.11 and type that back in, but if you have forgotten that it was 4.11, go back, go to display, look for display size and text, and put it back on the second one from the left, and that should restore things back to how they were before. Now, all of this stuff I still think is very interesting. This taskbar is not something that we're seeing truly active on any device. It's not there by default on any device. It's certainly not there on a normal phone, but with the Pixel Fold coming, hopefully not this fall, but it's looking like yes, this fall, and the Google Pixel tablet coming sometime this spring, we are going to see finalized versions of these taskbars sooner than later. Google I.O. just around the corner. We should see this stuff kind of finished and rolled out uh, hopefully before that, but if not, we'll see it there 
uh, on the Google Pixel tablet and its neat little stand. And then on the Fold, probably coming this fall, big giant bummer they're going to have to wait that long. But it is what it is. That's why we're covering this stuff because it's not really useful now, but it will be interesting and it will be useful when it's out on these pieces of hardware later. And it will give us kind of a sneak peek as to what these devices uh, what their software, I should say, is going to look like. Guys, hit that subscribe button before you leave. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.